Desert Car Kings was a reality TV show on the Discovery Channel that ran for one season only in 2011. The show was based on the McClure family, who ran a Desert Valley auto parts shop in Phoenix, Arizona. Shows about cars have been around for a long time, although they picked up steam in the last 10 years. Therefore, it is not strange to see that every big TV network has its own car show. One of the reasons is that people love to see amazing cars and fascinating things they do not know about them. The content is also eye-opening, and in the next couple of years, there could be a lot more. Some of these shows are synonyms of the TV shows, such as Top Gear, that aired in the UK on BBC. The hosts did a fantastic job, but unfortunately, one of the stars, Jeremy Claxon, had a few problems with BBC and had to leave. Soon after, the other stars left as well. From then on, the show was hosted by Matt LeBlanc, among others, and you would expect people to love Matt, but unfortunately, most of them said that it has never been the same. Whether it's a unique shop that restores cars, like the Desert Car King show, or one that flips the cars into something better, there's excellent premise all around. However, most people would probably argue that these shows need a shake-up as there has been plenty of recycled concepts. For shows that have found their niche, they end up becoming mundane and they cannot get out of it, but some shows did not last long enough, probably because they were way ahead of their time. This is where the Desert Car Kings show comes in. Jason and his father Ron, who were the show's main characters, would restore classic cars within a limited time frame, and then these restorations would be auctioned. The operation housed more than 10,000 vehicles on 100 acres of dry Arizona land. Their restorations included a 1970 Oldsmobile, a 1965 Ford Thunderbird, a 1964 Plymouth Barracuda, a 1962 Ford Galaxy, and a 1966 Chevrolet Chevelle SS. Unfortunately, they had average ratings, and critics pounded them with bad reviews. While a few praised the show, most people called it fake, and its time slot was competing with cable TV's highest-rated reality show, A&E Storage Wars. This did not help things. After the first season concluded, the Discovery Channel did not pick it up for a second one, but it began airing reruns on Velocity Cable TV Network. As of 2015, it airs on the Quest station in the UK. It is also now showing on Pluto TV. What was the show like? Well, before we delve into this show and try to understand why it was cancelled after only one season, if you haven't already, please like this video by leaving a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button, and do not forget to ring the notification bell so you can be notified the minute we have a new video out. Now, back to the show. The show mostly featured restorations, and in the first episode, the McClure clan restored a 1965 Thunderbird as they figured that there would be more to be made when the vehicle was dismantled for parts. According to the family, selling classic cars tested the family business's foundations, and it all came down to the auction. In the next episode, Ron challenged his son Jason and their crew to restore a 1970 Oldsmobile 442 that was part of his private lot. This became a throwdown between father and son to see who was faster at it. Episode 3 featured the Desert Valley crew racing to find a horsepower engine that was higher than the 1962 Ford Galaxy that they had. This was one of the precursors for the muscle era, and while a break-in in their workshop caused the McClures to worry, it did not stop the show's flow, and what they did was find ways of securing their trove of classic vehicles. In Episode 4, the shop manager, who was new, found himself in a tough and tight spot after an accident in the shop broke one of the most valuable parts for the 1964 Plymouth Barracuda, and the crew lets off steam in a derby for shop versus yard demolition. Episode 5 was all about the 1955 Ford F100 restoration. It was turned into something else completely, but within the episode, the shop manager had engine problems, which made it tough for the parts crew team from Desert Valley Auto. James struck gold in Episode 6 by discovering that the 1966 Chevrolet Chevelle that he bought was in fact a rare SS model, and the crew needed to find a high roller who was willing to buy the car after restoration during the auction. As the episodes were winding up, the premise was the same. Episode 7 involved the crew facing one of their biggest challenges yet through the 1950 Studebaker Champion, where the urban legend's rare parts crew caused the team to scramble for the car's hidden features. Episode 8 was about a 1950 Cadillac that was slow to get moving, and Route 66 renovation crew caused Ron to have a change of heart and surprise the crew. In the ninth episode, the crew got an invite to the prestigious Russo & Steel auction, 
where Jason and Ron decided to roll out the Pontiac GTO, the ultimate American muscle car. They finally stood to make a bundle with big money on the table for the car. Finally, the last episode ever aired was episode 10, and in this one, the crew restored a 68 Dodge Charger. This is a masterpiece of the American muscle, and it had once roared through a hazard. It came down to Charger vs. Charger, a showdown that was 43 years in the making. So why was the show cancelled? Good question. A lot did happen on this show, but the most action was in the reviews. The viewers contradicted some of the things the McClures were doing, and they had plenty to say about the show. Here are a few reasons why this show was cancelled. It had turned into another Keeping Up With The Kardashians reality show. This, according to critics, is what happened to the Desert Car King show, and what started as a car restoration show quickly turned into another family feud kind of show. For this reason, it only lasted for one reason, because whatever cars they repaired when they were not too busy arguing caused the show to lack life and charisma. This made it pretty sad and unentertaining to watch. You might wonder how far the show would have gone with different direction and production. Criticism of the show There was plenty of criticism for this show, and a look at the comments section, you will see the following comments. OMG, they are shooting the car using dust masks, and there are fumes all over. It looks like they are not even using HVLP fumes. The masks are all green, and they are not wearing respirators. What idiots! They are shooting in jeans, t-shirts, and hats, and are probably wondering why they have fish eyes. I am still laughing about this show. They just shot on the roof with fluorescent reflections, and even on TV you can see the imperfections and dirt on the paint. I believe even a 10-year-old can shoot better than them. Some of the restored cars did not fetch as much as anticipated. In one of the episodes, they restored a vehicle and sold it for only $5,600 after investing more than $6,500 on it. This was just sad, and needless to say, the audience was not impressed. The Ratings The ratings were pretty low for this show, which could have been one of the reasons why Discovery decided to discontinue it. What could have been done to fix the show? Reality automotive TV shows have been attempted for decades, and rarely do they succeed. Here are a few ways Desert Car Kings could have been improved. Lowering the budget It would have been better to see the McClure family restoring cheap cars on a low budget and the kind of challenges they would have experienced instead of building the classic and expensive cars. Found better hosts One of the reasons why shows like Top Gear worked was the chemistry of the hosts. For this particular show, Discovery should have looked for a quirky cast, competent, funny, and relatable. This may have saved the show. Got rid of the fake drama It was compared to the Kardashians due to the unnecessary and sometimes fake drama on the show. It may have caused the show to appear scripted. They should have made the show about cars only. Making it about the family and fake fights was just a miss. Again, the fake drama about deadlines and missing parts was just too boring. No script It was obvious that there was a script. If it had to be there, at least it shouldn't have been too obvious. Sometimes, everything was just predictable, and a better option would have been to keep the cameras rolling to catch some juicy and embarrassing stuff. Looked for untold stories This one is for the producers of Desert Car King's show. They should have attempted to go where no car show has gone before. They should have tried to find stories that have not yet been told, which means traveling and talking to people. So, those may have been some of the reasons why this show was cancelled, and a few tips on how they may have improved on it. If you haven't already, please leave a thumbs up for this video, and be sure to subscribe to our channel and turn the notifications on by clicking on the bell so you can be notified whenever we put out a new video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next video.